Hey everybody, welcome back to Halidom. All right, so this week we've got Santa stories. Little warning for anybody, we're going to be um, talking about some factual realities of, of a certain holiday figure. <laughs> We're talking well, about Santa, so if you've got kids, you want to control what they hear about Santa, get them out of the room. All right, here we go. So, Camille, I did not grow up with Santa. Yes, I know this. You grew up with Santa. Yes. So what was it like like growing up with Santa? Because I have no frame of reference for that. I don't think I've ever had to explain this to anyone. But yeah, they told us that Santa would come into our house and put um, toys under our Christmas tree and give okay. us presents. So you actually believed that there was a magical man coming into your house? 100%. And so I asked my parents, I was like, we don't have a chimney. How is Santa going to get in here? And my mom was like, oh, he'll just use the back door. We'll leave it open for him. And I was like, oh, OK. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that was the end of it. Checks out. Everything else about yes. that story checks out. We left cookies out for him. We left cookies and milk, all that kind of stuff. And then on Christmas morning, we would get presents from Santa and my parents. So the reason why my parents didn't raise us with Santa Claus was because they wanted us to be able to like differentiate between like fictional magical characters like Santa and yeah. Jesus. Yeah. And so so we didn't Yeah, we just grew up like not believing at all. Like I'm kind of in the anti Santa camp today. I know. <laughs> And Hurts part of the reason heart. is because you kind of like have to lie, not just about Santa, but you also have to lie about like physics and magic and science and just like logic. And you and you really just like have to lie, you know? And so like to me, it, like it seems like, you know, I don't know. So you call my parents liars? <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. I'm calling you out, Vince. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you were able to kind of like grow out of it. So do you want to hear the story about how I learned the truth about Santa? Okay. <laughs> okay. So I was probably around six or seven. But one day, I it was on Christmas Eve. I was like thirsty or something and I wanted to go downstairs. I saw my parents like down our little like balcony thing, like down the stairs. I saw them wrapping presents and I was like, <laughs> what? How dare you? <laughs> I know. I was like, what is going on? So I, I didn't go all the way down. I acted like I didn't see it and I ran back upstairs. And then, so I sat my dad down one day. Because <laughs> of course I didn't. I was like, dad, I don't think Santa's real. Is Santa real? And my dad basically told me, he was like, Okay, he's like, all right, we're gonna talk about this. Are you ready? And I was like, yeah. So my dad told me the story of Saint Nicholas, like the real man, like who would give toys to children and all that. He's like, and that's why people wanted to carry on the tradition. And so they came up with the name Santa Claus and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, okay, cool. And then I was done with it. <laughs> but then he was like, don't tell your siblings because I've got three oh, younger wow. siblings. So like the lies, where do the lies end? I <laughs> like played it up for my siblings. Like oh, I wow. told them, I was like, yeah, I know Santa. And at, <laughs> on Christmas Eve, he like, takes that's me like. So diabolical. To I me. was like, trying it to. It like, seems crazy. <laughs> because I told my siblings, okay, you guys, like you have to just like believe really hard in your hearts when you go to sleep and Santa will come and take you on a sleigh and like like the whole Polar Express thing. My sister Melody in particular was like, oh my gosh. And she told me later, she's like, I was trying so hard. She's like, yeah, I wanted to go awful. so bad. So I remember when I was a kid, like I would tell other kids <laughs> that Santa's not real. Cause I didn't oh my know, gosh. like I didn't know this was like a taboo thing to do. <laughs> to me, if a kid like doesn't know how to like add fractions, it's like, oh, you just have to do the same denominator and that's how you do it. Yeah. Like I was just like yeah. explaining, it's like, oh, you just didn't know this about the universe. Oh yeah, Santa's, Santa's not actually real. Now you can like benefit from the knowledge of that. Like I was just trying to like oh my gosh. be helpful. And you're just <laughs> ruining lives. I, left and right. My parents had to sit me down there to be like, okay, listen, you and I both know that Santa's not real, but <laughs> but you just can't tell other kids because they like to believe. I was like, okay, well, all right. Yeah, but what about like singing the songs about Santa and reading the Santa stories and all that kind of stuff? Yeah, or we didn't really thing? do that. <laughs> oh my God, no. you had no childhood. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so we hope you guys enjoyed those uh, Santa stories. Leave a comment down below. What is your experience? Did you have Santa? Did you not have Santa? And then also, where do you fall? Like, should kids have Santa or should they not have Santa? Um, is oh, yeah. it okay to lie to your kids? The answer is no. Anyway, uh, so, <laughs> so yeah, let us know what your thoughts are. Um, but also, yeah, leave a like, uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you next week. All right, bye.